Hi guys, this is an access tutorial for school management system. So let me just show you guys how it works, then we jump straight into plain access and put one of these together. So you can always click on add new records. There we go. Let's assume we want to go to previous record, that's the previous record, and you just move around with this very button or go to the next record. And this toolbar that I have in here is to either display the toolbars or not. So if I say yes, display toolbar, that's the toolbar there. And let's say no, no toolbar, that's what we get. And in here we have view, so which means we can view the records. There we go. Now let's close that and come right in here right beside the view is we have print table you can print the table the choice is yours how you want the table printed so let's assume you want to print the table okay instead of me printing the table wasting my time let me actually print it out using a pdf file click on ok i'm going to save the file right on my desktop as you can see the name is students let's say student records and let's print it right away there and if i open up my student record on the desktop double click on that and let's minimize this there we go you see that you can then print it out how you want all you just need to do is click on print close that and right beside it we also have another print button this we actually print out every single form on the system and beside it is a save button so you can save whatever amendment or record that you've added and finally we have the exit button so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into access and we'll put one of these together so let's do that now guys Hi and welcome to Access Tutorial of a School Management System. I'm going to start by clicking on blank and I'll give my project a name and just call it school. Click on create. There we go. Well, what's going to happen is I'm not going to create any table. I intend to import so I'll come right here where we have external data I intend to import the following raw data there they are cost right there grades there the student profile and the student details I intend to import that and this very raw data I'm going to upload them upload it into my share drive and give you guys access to it so let's start by importing the following data anyway all right close all of this now make sure you are in external data this very menu there and right here you see you should have new data source click on this new data source and come to file and let's select text file right inside the text file browse to wherever you have your new data source i think the folder is called course so let's come into there we go that's the name of my all right select the very first one click on ok and once this dialog box pops up make sure the import text wizard is set to the limited character such as column or tab separate each field now click on next and here we want to select the very first row right here I want it to be my heading right there make sure this is in column and check this click on next now right in here the choice is yours if you want to check the data type for each column right there look at the data types you can always change it to whatever you want but i'm going to leave it the way it is click on next 
now here we need to select a primary key as you can see there's a default primary key here I don't want this I'm going to choose the next one this is the primary key I want that is inside my raw data click on next there that's the name you can change the name to whatever you want but I'm going to stick by the name I've got there that's it click on finish and close that the very first table is right there if I right click you can see the design view right there and that's your default primary key set and if you want to view the data you can just view the data we have in there the raw data okay I'm gonna close that go back into external data import the other three and I'm gonna be very fast with those now that you guys know how to go about importing those data there we go just exactly the same thing next and choose that as my primary key there we go finish and the name remain the same close that go for the next one text browse profile click on ok delimited first row next select my primary key next finish okay right here right here click on ok we will fix that this to do with the primary key right just close that now if I right click on this come into the properties you see the primary key is gone so I'm gonna select these two foreign keys because I have student ID and cost code okay I'm gonna select those as my primary key and click on and just save it close that now let's import the other one this is one of the one that caused that error, error that you spotted earlier because of those two primary key the course code and the student the student table and there we go there we go that's the student ID and then click on finish and close that so all our tables are now in place now if you want to have a look go to the design you can see the student ID let's go to the profile and see that as well in the profile we have the two foreign keys and the grades now we have a course so I'm going to close all that the next thing I would like to do is to create a relationship so now come in here you see where we have a uh, data tools click on that and click on relationship select all the tables click on add close that now that we have all the tables selected we want to now create our relationship if you look at the profile here we have the actual grades so I want, there's a link between the actual grade and the grade so I'm going to click on that and ask it to link here there so I'm going to force the referential integrity and just click on create you can see I have one too many right there okay now let's look at the course code the course code right here I have course code there grab a course code and let's link it right there and let's force the referential integrity as well you can see it one to many and let's go for the student as well the same thing there we go guys there we go maybe bring this down here so that you can see the relationship that's my relationship taken care of okay so what I'm gonna do now is let's save that anyway I'm now going to come into create and there I'm going to create a query okay the relationship is still there if you want to see it so I just close it I will now come into create let's create 
a query Let's first of all click on design query there we go those are the query add there you can see all the relationship the way they are in here right there now okay let's start by the course double click on the course right there we have subject department code level fields fees duration that's fine now let's get student details the student details last name first name tutor group date of birth gender gender and now let's come into the profile we already have student id and we already have cost code we have the fees already actual grade uh, predicted grade then actual grade then we have the grade and the value so those are the ones i'm going to select right so if you want you can run your program there we go and to also verify the relationship first of all let's save this first save that as just gonna save it as school there that's my query i need that query to create my form that's why i created the form so if i double click on the course you can see the relationship here can you see that okay that's why i had to create the relationship right and that's it right here so that is the relationship within each of the tables so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to now call it the end of the first part of this tutorial and get back to you guys shortly see you in part two